Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Sunday mountain weather update on this first day of December. Let's go to where it's snowing up in the northeast. The lake effect machine continues to crank out heavy snow. Look at this uh, video that was out from the Bills, the Buffalo Bills that uh, Jackie Jarris retweeted. Uh, snowing at uh, at Orchard Park where the Bills play. So they're going to have to do a little bit of shoveling, I have a feeling, out there at the stadium. I mean, some places are just still getting nailed. Take a look at the radar out of the northeast. You've got that band of heavy snow over the top just north of Syracuse, Tug Hill Plateau. You've got the other band coming off Lake Erie, south of Buffalo. Clipping the stadium, a lot of, uh, I mean, we're talking feet of accumulation with these things. Let me take you in a little bit closer to this one. Dunkirk, DKK right there. I mean, seeing feet of snow in the south towns around Buffalo. Look at some of these reports out of Erie County, Jefferson County. I mean, 46 inches of snow, four feet, essentially, of snow from this. Just lake effect up in Chautauqua County, uh, basically three feet of uh, snowfall. So that's the power of the lake effect snow this time of the year before the lakes uh, get too cold and freeze over. All right, let's go back out west. Let me give you uh, the lay of the land as to what is coming. So on this... Your oranges and reds are going to be your drier air aloft, and your moistures and the whites and the blues. You can see this dry air entrenched across a lot of the west with this ridge of high pressure that has set up um, over the top of the west coast, protecting pretty much all of the major ski areas from any new snow at this point. Now, eventually it will break down. You've got all this action out here. This big trough of jet stream support. A lot of this action is going to go up into Alaska, and it's also going to be directed up into BC and parts of Canada, and where it will eventually drop down over the Great Lakes and then develop into a storm system around 12 5, 12 6 for the Northeast. Now, eventually, all of this energy, a piece of it will break through this high pressure and then cruise down through the Intermountain West around 12 8 and 12 9. Okay, let me just show you my bullet points. So the northeast, you got lake effect snow today, and then it probably tapers tomorrow. Uh, a storm's an actual storm system for the northeast, 12-4, 12-5, 6 Out west, it's this, this big dome of high pressure with dry weather until 12-8. And then 12-8, 12-9, it looks like a cold front where the storm system will drop down out of the Pacific Northwest, 12-8 um, and 12-9. So we'll look at all that. In fact, here's my snow timeline. Best odds of new snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and Interior, BC, and the Northeast. Um, so, for example, in the Wasatch, you have light snow accumulation on 12 8, 12 9, as it looks right now. Um, moderate accumulations in Colorado on 12 9, Tahoe light on 12 8. So, that's the 12 8, 12 9 scenario. Unfortunately, I mean, it, it doesn't look terribly impressive. Colorado appears to get the most accumulation out of it. Um, so, let me just show you what the jet stream looks like. So here we are by close of business today. You can see the arcing to the north of the jet. So everything is uh, influenced by this ridge of high pressure at this point. Same thing for Monday. Same thing for Tuesday. And notice all that, uh, that jet support over the Pacific. Everything's being escorted up into BC. Now here comes the change. You can see the kink in the jet hitting the Pacific Northwest. A little bit of a dip and there it is. It barely brushes the, uh, the Sierra but comes down through Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. Um, brushing Utah, and then it moves through Colorado, and it kind of, it potentially might develop into a slightly stronger area of low pressure over Colorado, and then the whole thing moves away. And that's, honestly, that's the highlight. That's the highlight for the West of the next uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 days. Looking at the uh, the forecast radar and satellite, we'll put some precip and cloud cover on this forecast. So, yeah, here we are on the 1st of December, the first day of meteorological winter. And it definitely doesn't feel like it across the West. Well, I'll just let this thing run. Everything's being routed up into parts of BC, Canada. And like I said, it drops down into the Great Lakes and into the Northeast. Now, eventually, here comes this storm system right here. Look at that feed of moisture. And then it starts to move, make its move down into the lower 48 on 12.8 through Idaho, Montana. It clips the, uh, the Sierra. And then it runs down through Utah, Wyoming, and then eventually drops into Colorado, where it might develop into a stronger storm. You can see widespread snow. It'll, it'll be all snow, because this will bring some colder air with it. But that's 12.9. Drops down into northern New Mexico as well. Northern New Mexico will also get accumulation out of this. So here's what I'm thinking as far as accumulation goes. Now keep in mind, this is all of today through 12.10. Um, and for 99% of the time, there's absolutely nothing for the lower 48. Not until we get to 12, 8, 12, 9, 12, 10 do we actually see accumulation 
across the lower 48. So most of the time it's high and dry. Um, the accumulation up in BC will be the most consistent, especially in the northern latitudes of uh, BC, and then of course running across Canada down into the northeast. And here is the northeast. Keep in mind, lake effect snow today. So looking beyond today, from 12.2 to 12.10, here's what I'm looking at as far as storm snowfall. So there's still a little bit left over for Snow Ridge, probably 6 to 10 inches. Now, what you see in Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, that's going to be storm snowfall, 12.4, um, 12.5, and 12.6. That's when most of this accumulation will run through these areas and looking for potentially 4 to 12 inches of accumulation from Stowe to Jay Peak over Sunday River, Mount Washington, down to Mount Snow. Um, a little bit less down in parts of Massachusetts, white face at about six inches. So that's 12.2 through 12.10. Keep in mind that lake effect continues today and early tomorrow morning for those isolated areas along the lakes. Um, let me take you back to the big map here. And again, this is total accumulation all of today through 12.10. And the accumulation you see across Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, Montana, Colorado, um, the Sierra, and also New Mexico, that doesn't come until 12.8, 12.9 and uh, 1210. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. I appreciate it on this first day of December. Take care.